Hi, and welcome to The Numerologist. I'm Kelsey, I'm your host, and we're so happy that you found us today. Today, our video series is all about the oracle card reading for the month ahead, and we will be using two different decks than we did last month. So the first deck that we'll be using is the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, and the second deck is Path of the Soul. I will take pictures of all of the cards that we use today and post them on our Facebook page so you have a nice visual for the message as well. So all in all, this month is a really, really positive message for all of you watching and all of you that have found your way to this reading. There's a huge focus this month on being on purpose and doing the work that we're here to do. So it makes perfect sense that if you're watching this video that you've heard that call to you know, really follow your heart and that it's, it's time, whether you're just starting out, uh, out on this path or if you've been on this path for a while, to keep going. And uh, it's a really, really positive message for the month ahead. So the first card is the Horse King and this card is ruled by the Vibration Six and this card represents assistance and um, assistance in forms of synchronicity. So the Horse King is an ally for us, which is really fantastic. And what this means is the first week of this month, you're most likely going to come into contact with someone through some element of synchronicity and coincidence. And this person is here to support you along your journey of leading into your heart's passion. So really trust that this person is here for a reason. They're here to assist you and be open to that assistance and that help. A lot of the time we, we shut down when someone wants to help us and that takes us out of the creative flow and it'll also steer you off path a little bit. So it's really important to practice the art of receiving this week as well. And this is ruled by the vibration of six, which is the number of love and community and nurturing. So again, nurture yourself and nurture yourself through receiving. And uh, really, really trust that this new person or this new event or this circumstance that manifests in your life is there for a very, very distinct reason. Week number two, the card is the red native card. This card is ruled by the number seven. So that's the frequency of introspection and internal wisdom. Now this card reminds us that we have two choices in life. We can either be unconscious and kind of float through life on default, or we can become conscious creators and really create our reality and create our dreams into our experience. So this card is reminding us that we can actually pull from that collect collective consciousness and kind of run on default, like you know, centuries and centuries and centuries of people have done, and go that same path, and there's everything right with that, or we can choose to become the conscious creators of our reality and really step into our own knowing and our own wisdom. And this card really, really asks us to take a look at uh, the inner truth that we all embody. And it's time to start speaking that truth in the world and sharing your wisdom and sharing what you know. So again, this really fits into this theme of stepping on purpose and stepping into a career or a path that is really fulfilling the heart's desire. And uh, in order for this to happen, in order for us to access that inner wisdom, we've got to go inward. A lot of time in meditation, we can pull that information out of our, our consciousness. So that's where the frequency of seven comes in, is to really take some time this week and go into meditation and really reflect, um, whether that's out in nature or just some alone time, but really reflect on what it is that drives your heart and the things that you truly do know about being on this, this earth and this planet and what can you do to contribute to the greater good of humanity. And week number three, we're back to the wisdom of the hidden realms. And this card is the sisters of the season. It's ruled by the number eight and it represents cycles of growth. It represents divine order and natural law. So, what there is to remember when we step onto this path of our purpose and our truth is that every single thing occurs in divine timing. And often we want to get to the finish line as quickly as we can without learning and taking the steps and building the foundation to get there and to get there with integrity. So this card is really reminding us to 
be at peace with wherever you're at right now and understand that everything has its cycle, everything has its season. So we may find ourselves right now in a cycle where it's time to really start exploring these relationships uh, of people that are coming in to help us pull our dreams into reality. So there, there's probably a lot of planning involved in that and take that time to do that work because it's fundamental to your success which is ruled by the vibration of eight. That's, uh, this is abundance and this is leadership on a global level. So we really, really want to build the foundation for that abundance and that success and that prosperity by doing the groundwork and honoring these natural laws of give and take. And there's a time to plant the seasons and there's a time to reap, reap the harvest. So get in touch with all of those cycles within yourself and within, within the world as a whole and understand that when people come in, they come in at the perfect time. When things manifest, they manifest at the perfect time and not to push things or rush them um, and just be at peace with whatever is so for you right now. And then that takes us into the final uh, week, which is the week of work. So we're back to the uh, Path of the Soul cards and it's ruled by the number one. And this card is all about work. And it's all about doing the work that you were put here to do. And being ruled by the number one, the number of leadership, innovation, and driving forward in the, in the area of your dreams. So this is really, really asking us to get real with ourselves about what it is that we're truly here to do. And after the past couple weeks of reflection and these people coming in to mirror to us what we're really worthy of, um, it becomes very clear what path we're meant to go down. And this is such a great omen to step into that path and continue to do the work that's required. So that includes personal development, like taking our understanding of ourselves to new and new levels and to take care of our vessels. So putting in the best nutrition and the best thoughts and the best foods that we can and to understand that everyone else around us is doing the best they can with what they have. So that allows us to embrace the energy of compassion and compassion for other people that you're going to encounter during this path that you set, set yourself onto. So take this week to really start to dabble and explore into the things that make you happy and that make you come alive because what makes you come alive is actually what you're here to do. The thing that brings you the most joy and the most happiness is what you're here to teach the world. And drawing back from week two, there is something here that you're meant to be sharing with the world and teaching the world. So this is the final omen of this month at least to really, really embrace that and allow yourself permission to go down that path. So that being said, that is your reading for the month ahead. Much love in numbers and we will be seeing you next week where we decode a number sequence and we will be doing the number sequence 222. So tune in next week and we will see you very soon. Bye guys!